want to utilize is the zoom in feature by clicking the right thumbstick you can zoom in on your picture doing so allows you to get into the picture to make small details like okay this is big if you want a skull design or whatever if you want a skull design or whatever you know it's gonna come out big but if you want it small zoom in as far as you can and you make it now we're gonna make a little cross right now this helps you make the little tiny designs and like I said it works no matter what you do if you want to make the tiny designs in the middle of your thing you make it make sure it go past the middle so when you copy it you don't have a space when you copy it you don't have a space like going through the design or whatnot as you can see a little cross in the middle not that pretty but who cares this is not a real actual design it's just a tutorial now for the lazy people people like myself this tool right here the fill-in tool is called fill-in but it looks like a paint can so I'm gonna call it the paint can tool the paint can tool pretty much paints an area that you choose it pretty much paints any area that you choose that is why I told you to fill in all the lines that's exactly why I told you to fill in all the lines fill in all of them make sure every line is connected because if not if the lines aren't connected like I'm going to show you right now I'm going to erase so the shit won't be connected if the lines are not connected and you go to fill it in it's going to fill up the entire screen and you don't want that that's why I tell you to fill in the lines make sure everything make sure everything the fuck okay make sure everything is connected now like I said, make when you want to draw something, make your marker go the slowest it can possibly go. So you can have that sense of, you know, so you can have that sense of fluidness, like you're actually moving. It, it takes some time, trust me, it takes time. It takes time. That's why I said make sure you take your time be patient do not try to rush this you rush it is not going to come out looking the way you want it to look and like my boy said in his paint tool tutorial don't try to make your paint tool look like anybody else's because you're gonna be disappointed and it's gonna make you mad it's gonna frustrate you this is your paint tool and the person you want to put it on should be your character it's yours you can make a random ass bullshit circle and save it and put it on your character as many times as you want to it's yours no one else's they cannot tell you anything else about your own design now the thing that I see a lot of people do with their paint tool is what they do is they paint the background they paint the background and then they'll draw a paint tool design on the black background or whatever color background they wanted to now I'm not saying that's bad but the problem with that is your paint tool is always going to have a box around it that's why I don't do that I leave the thing blank when you leave it blank 
there isn't going to be a box around your paint tool. Now when I say a box around your paint tool, this is what I'm talking about. Wait. This is what I'm talking about. You're going to have a box around your paint tool. Now we're just going to do some bullshit square. We're going to save it. We're going to save it. We're going to save it. I'm not going to take the time out to edit this. I'm just going to cut it every 10 minutes. And I'm not even going to make it good quality I'm just going to do it so it won't take that long but okay now this is the reason why I don't do that oh, shit. you're gonna have it where You're gonna have it where you want to put a design, the same design that you had. You're gonna want to put it on your character. What the problem is, you got the box around your paint tool design. Now, whatever you put in your your um your design on is going to have that box around it and then you're gonna have to make you're gonna have to make the the, the cold the article of clothing that you're putting it on the same color even if you don't want it that color that's what I'm saying don't do that now before I leave this we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut from the paint tool real quick and we're gonna do something different right now because a lot of people have been asking me how to do this. Now I'm going to show you how I get my paint tool designs and my paint tool tattoos looking like they're on the skin. We're going to pick a regular black thing. Now, when you're when you're doing when you're doing tattoos don't be afraid to use the colors. You don't have to make all your tattoos black. Your whole tattoo don't have to be black. If you have a heart or something that has color in your tattoos, just put the color in it. Just don't put it too bright. I will show you the difference between the color after we do this. Don't make it too bright. Just darken the color like red when you picking your colors don't go all the way down to the very last things where they the brightest bring it up a little bit darken it because after you do so you don't want your colors to be so bright on your character on your character's tattoo or whatever but we're gonna do this I'm gonna put a, a design that I'm working on like I said that I'm working on I'm not done with the design but I saved it and I'm able to come back to it when I'm ready. Now, the way you put paint tool designs as tattoos and make it blend into the skin. This is how you do so. You put the paint tool wherever you want it. Wherever you want it. After such, you go to designs. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry not designs you go to logos after you go to logos you pick the square design or rectangle whatever you want to call it and you put it over the paint tool tattoo covering the entire tattoo the, the entire design and what you do is you make it blend into the skin try to make it as close to the skin color 
as you can possibly